All right, this video, I'm going to show you how to use a few more tools, or hopefully a few more tools. Um, and of course, as we go along, the, the uh, videos will become more inclusive of showing more things, because as you learn um, some of the previous, like, uh, like the line tool, um, once you learn how to use that, some of the same principles apply to other tools as well. So uh, things will go along much faster as we progress. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of different tools in here. But uh, the polyline tool is the next one. Uh, now open the file that you previously had, the, uh, the uh, practice file. And hopefully I didn't ask you to, but I meant for meant to uh, or meant for you to save your square from the previous file or from the previous video. If you did not, just redraw that same square in that file, uh, 100 foot by 100 foot, using your line tool. And now I'm going to show you how to draw the same square using a different type of tool. And I'll also show you the features that it adds to um, the geometry. So we're going to use a polyline instead of a line. I'm up here in the draw panel. And uh, the polyline says polyline right below it, and it has like curves and stuff like that in it. And uh, yeah, you can make curves with this. Um, but if I activate it, click on it, okay, I can I can draw just like it would draw any other line. So I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna draw the same square right next to it. Um, I'm gonna pick up the geometry on the endpoint because I want them to be all the same and and uh, you know look nice and level on the screen. Click and you know, make sure I'm kind of in the 90 position there and type in 100 feet. Now you always have to, I didn't mention this last time either, but you always have to put in like your measurement, whether it's feet or inches. And remember that feet is the single apostrophe, inches is the double apostrophe. Okay, so here I have 100 feet and I'm going to click enter. All right now it wants me to make um, the next line, which here um, I'm starting to, um, you know, get some more geometry that I can work off of, and it's even helping me find the 90 degree angle there. But I also want to be able to find this corner. I want to bring it over here, and remember when you're picking up geometry, you're not clicking on it; you're just hovering over it to turn it on, or even to turn it off. I just turned it off, so I'm hovering again to turn it on. All right, now I'm at 90 degree position. Click. All right, and I'm just going to again do the same thing. Um, I want to latch on to this geometry here, which I'm not going to click. I'm just going to hover. I'm going to bring it up till it's all even there, all lined up. And then here again, make sure you're um, clicking in the correct spots. Right now, I'm clicking. If I click, I would be locking in to perpendicular. Um, I mean, probably right there near the tip, but not quite on the tip. So you might have to get closer and come in here and uh, click there. And there we go. So I have two identical squares, um, but there is a difference between the two. And here is the difference. The first square we drew using the line tool. So what I drew, I drew four separate lines. And if I highlight any of these lines, Let's say I highlight this top line and select it. It's just a single line. So it's, it's selecting everything as individual lines. So it took me four clicks to uh, select that entire square. I'm going to escape out of that. I'm going to go over here to this square. And let's say I want to select this square as well. All right, all I did was click once and I selected the entire square. It is a polyline, which means the polyline um, is a line that represents a whole object, not just separate lines that are put together to make an object. It is the whole object. Um, so again, if I escape and I click on here, that square is one whole object to where this one is four separate lines. Okay, and of course you'll find that very useful in the future. Another tool um, that I would like to, or actually another advantage I'd like to show you of the polyline. Let's say we're drawing our a house, and there's one thing that we do when we draw a house. We draw the outside walls, 
And then of course we have to give those walls a thickness. So to give the walls their thickness, we go to offset. That's the little button here. It looks almost like a thumb. We click on it. All right, and we um, specify first in the dynamic input, we specify what type of offset we want. Right now it says through, okay? We don't want through, we want, this, we want um, a distance. Um, so the distance here, let's say we're just making a normal wall and we're making it at like six inches. So six, and then of course double quotations to make six inches. And then press enter to accept that dimension that you just put in there. Now it's asking me, if you look at the dialog box there, it's asking me to select object to offset. So I select it and then I offset inwards. And of course you can't see, I, only did, I probably should have did it a little bit bigger. Let me do it a little bit bigger. So again, I'm gonna click offset, a little thumb. And I'm gonna type in 10 feet. I uh, just remembered that we drew that at 100 feet. Then I'm going to click enter to accept that. And now I'm going to select the object to offset. And there we go. We uh, offset that to 10 feet on the inside of that square. Now, if I were to do this over here, click offset, all right, and then enter our measurement, which it already says 10 feet because that is the last measurement that I used. Okay. And uh, I'm going to accept that 10 feet. And now I'm going to do the offset. And all I have to do is I go around and I click each line. I drag the cursor in the direction I want the offset to occur. Okay, so I want it to be on the inside. All right, so now you see the difference. Um, now I have to go back and trim these lines in here. Um, to make that pretty much like a whole figure. And you'll find instances where you'll have to use one or the other. You know, sometimes even though this one requires more clicks, it may be the only option that you have depending on your geometry. And of course, it's really hard to describe what that geometry would be. You just have to wait till you get there. Um, or then again, you have the less clicks by using the polyline over here. Now, this leads me to the trim tool. Okay, so the trim tool is right up here, and I've had you use this before. Um, right now it's set to trim. If you pull the pull down arrow next to it, you can do a trim or an extend. You can extend the line or trim the line. Okay, I always use it to trim. I actually have another method that I use for extending without using that. Okay, so um, the dialog box now is, or the, uh, actually I should start calling it what it is, uh, the command line. Um, but the command line says trim select objects or, and then it has like in brackets, select all. That means to hit the return button or the enter button in order to select all geometric intersections as possible trim points. That's typically what I use. So I'm going to press enter and that selects all geometric intersections as clipping points or trimming points. So now all I have to do is go through here and select every line that I want to trim. Okay, now I have two identical uh, pieces of geometry there, um, two squares with an inset square. All right, and let's say, I'm not sure how long this video has gone here, maybe I should uh, break off and do another video. We'll do that.